Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be looking at BCC looks for Final Cut Pro, and we're gonna be looking at how we can use Mocha tracking with BCC looks as well. Let's jump right into Final Cut and I'll show you how this works. So here we are within Final Cut Pro. I have a few clips loaded up on my timeline right here, but first, before we jump into Mocha tracking, let me just show you some of the cool BCC looks that we have. And by the way, you can download BCC looks right now by checking out the link in the description box below. All right, let's have a look at this clip right here. This is a shuffler that was shot in Austin, Texas with my good friend, Kyler Holland. Shout out to Kyler Holland. And then we have our next clip right here. But right now, let's focus on this clip. I'm gonna go ahead and go to BCC film style and then right under BCC film style, we're gonna drag and drop BCC looks right onto this clip. Then I'm gonna go into the effects editor. It's gonna open up a new window and right away we have a bunch of different presets right here. Very cool that BCC has a bunch of options here. So for example, we can go directly to black and white and you can immediately see that we have grain emulators within this LUT, so to speak. I do call these LUTs because that's basically what they are. But these LUTs have a bunch of different elements in them. Let's quickly scroll through a few of these and see which one would look really nice. Ooh, this one's actually kind of pretty. This one's great too. Basic warm diffusion. I actually like this one a lot. It makes this bokeh here in the foreground pop up some more. And on the right panel here, we can make a ton of different adjustments, especially with the base color of this diffusion effect. We can even change the blend modes similar to basic Final Cut Pro controls. So we can go to add, we can go to normal, we can go to screen, and you can see how the effect changes. By default, it's set to screen, and we can change the base color, obviously, as I mentioned, by just moving around the dial here or the color spectrum. If you go to green, it'll have a slight greenish hue, but I'm gonna undo that because I do like that warmer look. We can even change the amount of diffusion simply by putting in our own number. Let's put in 100 and see what difference it makes. Well, made it a little bit warmer and a little bit softer. Let's put in 20. Yeah, you can see the effect a lot less. So I actually liked 100, we're gonna go with 100. And what's really cool within the effects editor is that you don't have to necessarily close this window to look at the before and after. You can just go to the A and B side comparisons and you'll see the top with the effect applied and the bottom being the original clip. You can also save this custom look. Just go to File, Save Setup and save it to wherever you want. You can also open this up on any other platform with BCC looks installed. So I'm gonna close out of that, click yes to save changes, and there you go. Again, before, after, awesome. Now let's use BCC looks with the new Mocha Tracker for Final Cut Pro. So I'm gonna to go to my next clip right over here. I'm just gonna play it back. We have a woman here that looks bored out of her mind, but that's okay. This seems like a dramatic shot. We can make it even more dramatic and we're gonna use Mocha Tracker for that. So I'm gonna click on the clip. I'm gonna go to BCC Looks, drag and drop it. Immediately, I'm gonna go to the new Mocha Mask feature. I'm gonna click on that. And what I'm gonna do is, by the way, uh, some shortcuts that are really important to know within Mocha Continuum. Z is gonna allow you to zoom in and out, and the X key will allow you to drag the window around or the frame around, especially if it's zoomed in, this is very helpful. So what I wanna do, I want to isolate this person from the shot. I'm gonna go to the draw mask option, and I'm just gonna draw a simple mask around this lady. doesn't necessarily have to be 100% perfect because within this tracker, or this mask I should say, we can apply a feather and you'll see how the overall effect will look with that feather. To complete the mask, click on the first anchor point that you made and it will close out the mask. Now you can make adjustments to each individual point by pressing on these blue boxes right here. You can make the edges smoother or sharper. 
Once you're happy with the mask, you can track the clip. If you notice on the bottom here is our timeline. This is where we started to draw our mask. So what I'm quickly gonna do is track backwards by pressing this button right here. Then I can go back to the green arrow and track everything after that. Now don't worry if this track isn't perfect. Mocha will allow us to make adjustments to this track and it will automatically interpolate and adapt to the changes that we made. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. Okay, so the track is complete. I'm gonna drag around the timeline here and I'm gonna see where the track kind of missed its mark. All right, so right about here, I can see that the mask is kind of falling off the subject here. What I can do is I can drag the whole entire mask so that way it resizes or refits over the subject and we can make subtle point changes on these markers or anchor points I should say. You can highlight multiple points at once and adjust those as well. And you'll notice that we have another little green arrow here which is actually a keyframe Every single subtle change that we make to this mask will be viewed on your timeline using these green little markers or keyframes. Again, this mask doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I'll show you why in just a bit. Now that the track is complete along with the changes I've made, I'm gonna go ahead and save it by clicking on the upper left-hand icon right here. Then I'm gonna close the window. Now the track is applied to the clip. All we have to do now is choose the perfect LUT to go along with it. So I'm going to open up the effects editor. And since I want this to be pretty dull and uh, dramatic, I'm going to go to the aged look. Now you can see that the effect was applied just to our subject. I personally wanted everything outside of the subject to have that effect or LUT. So I'm going to go to the pixel chooser. I'm going to go down to the mask and I'm going to invert the mask. That way everything outside of the subject has that LUT applied to it. Now we can make this effect even better. We can have it fade in. So for example, we can go to the beginning of the clip. I'm going to make a keyframe on the opacity. First I'm going to drop the opacity down to zero, make a keyframe. I'm going to go a few frames forward and I'm going to increase the opacity and boom, there you go. The effect will slowly be applied to the main subject. We can obviously create a longer fade simply by going to the show video animation and dragging that keyframe for a little bit longer. And there you go. Now, if you notice, the mask is a little bit sloppy here. We can always make adjustments to that mask simply by opening up Mocha Mask and making that adjustment. Export this tracking data by going to File, Export Project, and save it to anywhere you like. This will give you the ability to open up this tracking data on any other platform with BCC Mocha tracking installed. And now you can see the power of BCC Mocha masking within Final Cut Pro. If you're interested in trying this out, check out the link down below in the description box, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.